In this video, we will start with the factor theorem. You will find this on page 384 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The factor theorem. In the previous section, we learned that if a polynomial PX is divided by a linear divisor X minus C or DX, then the the division algorithm for a polynomial states that Px, okay, there's the divisor, the quotient, and there's the remainder. Or, if I just write it like this, in the place of the divisor, I just put dx. And the remainder theorem states that the remainder r is equal to Pc. But, if the remainder is zero, then Pc is zero. And Px, this, this, okay, basically, this... This, this divisor, is then a factor of Px. So basically, if I get a remainder of zero, then it means this divisor is a factor. Now, now if I can just explain it in very simple maths. Um, if, say, for example, 12, uh, 3 times 4 is, tw um, is 12. So 3 is a factor of 12, and 4 is a factor of 12. Because if you divide... 12 by 4, you will get just 3, no remainder. If you divide 12 by 3, you will get 4, no remainder. So basically, if the remainder is 0, then it indicates that this divisor, this divisor is a factor of that polynomial. Okay, that was just very simple. Okay, let's go on. Now, if a polynomial Px is divided by x minus c and pc is 0, the remainder is 0, then x minus c is a factor of px. And now the same. But now, if the polynomial px divided by ax minus b, just a little bit more complicated, and p, b over a is 0, then this is a factor of x. Okay. The factor theorem is a special case of the remainder theorem when the remainder is equal to zero. We can use the factor theorem to find the factors of a polynomial and hence solve cubic equations. And that's where we are heading to. Okay, so show that this is a factor so that it divides equally into that. No, the remainder is zero. So I just substitute, I get zero. And then I say the remainder is zero, therefore x minus two is a factor. Very, very simple. Um, so let's just, I want you to, uh, to give you a two, so let's just make it just simple, let's just, um, let's just make one A and two A, it's enough, okay, um, expression, so in this case, I, I'm just saying number C, and maybe I just want to mention it, is long division, because you can only see a synthetic division when dividing by a linear expression, okay, it's maybe just to check. Okay, so let's start with number A. So, I, I can make, I'm doing it like this. Let me just show you. I make fx. I give that expression a name. And that's 2x to the power of 3 minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Okay. And now I go, but then don't forget that I'm sitting with 2x minus 1 is factor or proof. So take this 2x minus 1, put it equal to 0. So I get that x is a half. Okay. Then I'm going to substitute that half. And then I will have 2, a half to the power of 3 minus a half squared plus 2 a half minus 1. Okay. Now, if I do it like this, I'm just going to simplify. So this is 2, and this is going to be 1 over 8 minus a quarter. Oh, let me just get the pen correct. Plus 1 minus 1. And this is 2 over 8, which is a quarter. So a quarter minus a quarter plus 1 minus 1 is 0. And then I'm ending up and say, therefore... 2x minus 1 is a factor of f. Okay, as easy as that. 
Let's do number two A. Number 2a. Find a if uh, x minus is a factor of this. Okay, now in this case, let's start again with let. We can call it again fx. It's usually the one we start with to call it, and then g, and then h. But it doesn't matter. Now they put an unknown in. Do you see that? But they tell you it's a factor. So basically, they say, and now let's just see, it was x minus 3. Okay? So if I put this equals 0, I get x is 3. So basically, they say to you, if you substitute 3, you will get 0 because it's a factor. So basically, I'm just doing that. I am go and I put in that 3. Okay, so 3 times 3, it's 27, times that 2, so that will be 54, plus 3 times 3 is 9a, plus 6, plus 3, and that's equal to 0. So I will have 9a is equal, now 54 plus uh, 6 will be 60, plus 3, it's 63, so if I take it over, negative 63, and I divide by 9, and I divide by 9, so therefore, the value of A is negative 7. And that is my final.